They say a goldfish has an attention span of nine seconds. As of 2015, a human has an attention span of eight seconds. How did we get here? I don't really think that's much of a mystery. Let's focus on one of the most central ideas to this issue, the smartphone. It is one of the most significant inventions of all time, as it has endlessly expanded communication, access to information, and of course, how we consume entertainment. But we already know that. The concern is that we've enjoyed too much of these benefits. Now we expect instant gratification, even when the real world doesn't work like that. To dig deeper, I talked to Albert Cho, who teaches psychology at Newton North. He's recently started using a system called Yonder in his classes. Um, I think that there's a lot of anxiety over um, smartphones, social media, um, needing to present yourself. We're not connecting as much. The point of Yonder is to sort of provide a space where people are present. And I don't think you can do that with your cell phone in your pocket. Yonder is a pouch that locks your phone up uh, so you cannot use it. And then um, you have to use a device to unlock it. And so it's not about being anti-technology. It's not about being um, a Luddite or saying that smartphones are bad. But you just sometimes want a place where you are 100% present and you want to connect with people. Uh, you never want to sort of um, be in a place where you're always thinking about what your phone is about to do. But how do students feel about this system? Senior Shiel Mehta certainly has some opinions about it. So I first came into contact with Yonder through Mr. Cho in uh, psychology class because he one day brought up that he would uh, be collecting all of our phones in little pouches. Everybody laughed thinking it was a joke and then uh, a week or so later he came in with this little box of green pouches. Turns out he wasn't joking. My first impression was that it was ridiculous and there's no way it could be enforced. But I think after a few weeks of using it, it's kind of become a little bit normal at this point. Seeing more and more students try to hide their phones in their backpacks or thinking that I won't see their phones or underneath their desk, uh, it was more of that was happening sort of on a daily basis. And so uh, I just sort of said, enough with it. I know I use my phone a lot for in-class work and like checking my grades and you know just general communication. To have like a everybody lock your phone up situation just seems like an overreaction to a problem. I think about like if there's a fire drill or something or if there's some situation where I, I need to contact my parents or if I need to see what's going on. I'd like to not have to run up to the front of the room, unlock the yonder, take my phone out and go back. It just seems like an unnecessary hazard. I definitely think that it takes a while to get used to studying when you have that distraction there with you. Like as an at home thing, it's hard to not shift away from your work and go to social media or something like that. I think if anything, kids need to learn how to focus with it than to just like subtract it from their school. So far at least, things seem to be going quite well. Recently I did a partner test um, or a partner quiz in my psychology class and in one block they had to yonder their phone and uh, after they were done they actually talked to one another rather than being on their phone. And the other class that did not have to yonder their phone, uh, after they finished the test they instantly went to their phone and just did what they did and didn't talk in person. We're so used to like scrolling through one minute clips for like hours on end like we don't want to focus on anything for too long. I don't know what it means in the greater scheme of things, like zooming out. I don't know what it'll mean for careers or, or like our lives in the future. You know, I mean, the smartphone only came out 10 years ago, 11 years ago. 2007, I think, is when the iPhone came out. And so this is just completely new territory uh, for our species of having a device that is so uh, incredibly powerful and addictive. 